Hello boys and girls, welcome back to part 5 of my action RPG tutorial series in Unreal Engine. So in this part we are going to be adding a sword weapon for the character. Just going to put it in the character's hand, you can't really draw and sheath because that's going to be the next part. I know, I spoiled the next part again. But yeah, it's going to be really basic and really simple, but I just wanted to keep it separate from the draw and sheath. So if you guys want to see more and you are enjoying this series, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's get started. So first thing we need to do is import a weapon pack from the Unreal Marketplace. And uh, the weapon pack that I used was the Infinity Blade weapons, but that is no longer available on the marketplace. So I'm just going to show you an alternative that you can get for free. So you go to fab, then you search for weapon, and then you go to the price and then click on free. And there you go. You have a lot of weapons that you can choose from. This one, for example, a mace, it's completely free or any of the weapon packs. Actually, if you type weapons instead of one weapon, you'll get a lot of other assets. So yeah, just pick anyone you like. I think the only requirement is that it's standing upright so that you have like the same positions and stuff as me so yeah but anything works just pick whatever one you like and import it we don't want to like keep the marketplace stuff inside the main content folder so i'm just going to make a new folder here i'm going to call it marketplace and i'm just going to drag it into it and it's going to take a while because it's going to have to load everything so inside the marketplace folder we have infinity blade weapons we don't need the maps or the effects. Well, we can keep the effects, but we can delete the maps folder. We don't need it. Unless we want to preview, let's actually go there and pick a weapon. This one looks cool. It's a little bit gothic, which is something I like. So we're going to go over to the blueprints folder and we have like characters, controllers and all of the categories. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it weapons, I guess. And over here inside the weapons folder, we're going to right click and create a new blueprint class. Now we haven't experimented with actor classes. We've only done characters, controllers, and game modes. Um, an actor is just like a character basically, but it doesn't have a movement component. And also it doesn't have the capsule collision. So it's like something that characters interact with. So, um, yeah, they complement characters. So I'm going to call it BP weapon. And that's it. So I'm going to open it. And you can see it's the same as the character, but it's missing the components here. So we're going to add a static mesh component. And when you select the static mesh, go to the details panel. Over here, we're going to look for dark night. Wait, what's it called? Oh, Black Knight. Okay. Black. Wait, is it not a static mesh? Oh, it's a skeletal mesh. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Let's see what it has. Well, it doesn't have any bones. But I guess skeletal mesh also works. So I'm going to go with a skeletal mesh instead of a static mesh, which is basically another type of mesh. Well, you probably know, but it's a type of mesh which has bones so that you can animate it. We're not going to be doing anything like that, but yeah, let's just, let's just go along. <laughs> so this is the skeletal mesh and we chose the Black Knight, as you can see. Maybe it's a little bit too dark, like... Maybe we should go with something else. Let's just pick one. I just want like a regular, regular sword. You know what? We're just going to go with this one, hero sword. Okay, this is perfect. So we have the weapon component. Now over here, we're going to like basically the reason I made it its own like blueprint is because I need to like have a lot of values here for like attack and all of the RPG stuff for like damage, defense, all of that stuff. It's going to be in the weapon blueprint so that it can affect the character's stats. Of course, that's going to be like many videos away. So <laughs> for now, just go along, do it as its own actor and not a 
mesh component over here. So we want to give this character this weapon and we want to put it in his hand and we want it to follow the animations. So we're going to add a blueprint component. I think it's called child actor. Yeah, it's a child actor. So this child actor, we're going to call it weapon. And we're going to parent it to the mesh so that it's a child of the mesh and follows the location and stuff of the mesh. And um, we need to choose the weapon. So over here in the details panel, child actor class should be weapon, which is the actor that we just made. And the parent, well, it's not now like connected like it's parented to the mesh but not really a specific part of the mesh so we want to put it on the right hand so over here on the parent socket we can just put it on the right hand however i actually have advice and it's that you don't really put the weapon component directly on the right hand and that is because each weapon might have its own like values like location rotation and stuff so what i recommend is let's actually just try it and see how that looks yeah you can see like if you choose the parent socket to be the hand bone it's going to be working fine however uh i'm gonna not do that yet i'm gonna do instead is add a scene component which is going to be parented to the mesh and the weapon is going to be parented to the scene component. So this scene component is just an empty location on the, like it's just an empty location component. So this is what we're going to put in the hand and R and the weapon. You can see the location rotation. We brought them back to zero. And instead, we're going to be setting the location from the scene component itself. It's a cleaner setup, so I recommend it. And we want to disable snapping for location and rotation because we need to adjust this carefully. And if you can't do it while the character is moving, because I know it gets confusing, trust me, uh, then you can like select the character, search for pause animations and have it paused so that they don't move. I don't really do this usually, but yeah, it's cool. And then go back to the scene component and then find the proper rotation and location. So we, we I'm satisfied with the location a little bit, I guess, but the rotation, I just rotated it like this. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. No, I don't like it. Let's just put it back there. I just need it to like be inside the hand perfectly. I guess we can rotate it down a little bit. It's too upwards. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to unpause the animations. And you can see it plays the animation and the sword follows the animation of the hand. I think we should be good. So let's give it a test on our empty map. Well, we don't, we didn't save a map. So we're going to go with the basic, just creates like new level and basic hit play. Oh, of course we didn't set the game mode. So go to world settings, game mode override. BP RPG game mode and that should be fine. So we hit play as you can see we have the sword and we're attacking with it I'm not happy with the rotation though. I'm gonna be honest. So let's go ahead and fix that uh, Well, I think it's it feels like a toy like it's it's rotated not nicely So if we set it back to zero rotated just like that a little bit Okay, let's try this. Yeah, this is much better. So as you can see, it's looking all right now. 
So now we have a sword and we can attack with it. I know it's it's very basic and basically it does nothing. All it does is exist. But um, it's, it's the proper way to set it up before we do the sheath and draw weapon system. Because, you know, we want to be able to put the weapon back and have a different blend space for the unarmed movement. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. Anyway, guys, this is it. We have a weapon and it's working nicely. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and wait for the next video after you subscribe, because if you haven't subscribed, you're going to be missing out on a lot of stuff. Don't forget to join my Discord server. We have a lot of tips there and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day and bye.